It's very scary to have a completely new canvas, and I'm not very keen on that. <laughs> so I, I like the fact that it's already sort of been messed up a bit. It's gone very tight. You can see the residue of some sort of buildings here. Now, I don't normally paint buildings. I used to. I don't do that anymore. So the point of painting is to find out something else. Also, you mustn't be afraid of it. You can always change things or you can throw it away. And whenever you finish, it's finished until tomorrow. Anyway, let's see where we go. You know when a painting is going well because you don't, you don't think about it. it, just one thing goes on to another and you, you get into a sort of, it's like a feeding frenzy in a way and, you, you, and you're all, you're, your mind's going maybe three, step, three or four steps ahead, which is both great and dangerous at the time. You can uh, draw on this, of course, if you wanted to. So I think we'll just rough it up a bit with another colour and see where we go. The other thing, the other great thing about painting, using paint in this way, you then have to relax and let it dry a bit. And that gives you a good excuse to look at what you've done, to think about a little bit of what your next move might be. At the moment, I have no idea what that will be. One's ideas and thoughts change a lot as, as you go forward, and I've been practicing uh, a long time now. And I have become more interested in keeping buildings, not necessarily because they're great pieces of architecture, but they're part of people's history. And I've become interested in, in building over buildings or extending buildings, giving them a new life. I mean, it is an environmentally friendly th quite quite a good idea not to knock something down and start again every time. But what, what interests me is if everyone did that in a, in a part of town, you actually, you don't destroy what's there, you keep the same pattern, you keep by and large a similar but altered experience for the people that live or work there or whatever it is. And it just, again, it, it's like the painting, it just evolves and everything, not everything has to fit in. But people feel more comfortable, I think, within that because it's, it's not, it's not subject to an architectural theory. It, you know, it can be, there's lots of room for different architects, amateurs and non-architects and other, to add to these things, but it gives a life to an area. You know, the perception of me from, the, from uh, other architects and uh, some politicians and others is that I'm naughty. Well, I think you have to be naughty. That's how you find things out, by being naughty, isn't it? You know, that's how young children learn. They don't know they're being naughty, they're just doing things because they want to do things. And I feel much the same way. And not to be afraid and just to do it out of ignorance, stupidity, or whatever you like to call it, it doesn't matter. But if you, so, naughtiness I think is actually quite a, quite a good word. It embodies everything I would encourage any young architect or artist to do. Otherwise, what are you left with? You're only left with conformity and good behavior, which doesn't always lead to the right ideas.